Hey Mason Chefs, welcome back to Kitchen B. I'm Chef B and he's... Chef B. Chef B, why don't you tell us what we're today? Well today we are going to be making some homemade pot stickers. Just for kind of a fun thing, you can serve it as an appetizer or a main dish or anything you want. Hey Chef B, do you know why they call it a pot sticker? I don't know, B. Why do they call it a pot sticker? Well, some chef was trying to make some dumplings and got a little bit of the, uh, the water kind of came out of the pot. And the dumplings stuck to the pot. He served them anyway, called them pot stickers. Well, B, that's an interesting food fact. Uh, let's get into the video so we can show you how to make these uh, delicious stickers. All right, amazing chefs. Uh, so uh, we're going to assemble our filling here. Uh, so we're going to start with our ground pork. You know, maybe I should use a spoon. There we go. Now we have garlic, ginger, cabbage, and scallions we're going to add in. And two tablespoons. One, two of soy sauce. We'll mix her up here. Get her all nice and incorporated. We're gonna mix this up and we'll get our wrappers ready and we'll see her when they're ready to start. Welcome back, amazing chefs. We have the stuffing ready for our pot stickers. So we have our pot sticker wraps, and we just bought them. You can make them if you want. This is just one beaten egg, and we're gonna kinda just do the edges on half of the circle, if you will. We're gonna put about a teaspoon of our filling in there, and then squeeze the edges all together so that they're nice and sealed up we're gonna put them over there we'll grab another one here for you show you one more time so we take our beaten egg put it around the edge so that the pot sticker wrapper will stick just get about a teaspoon of our filling that chef e put together fold it in half squeeze it together and the egg wash will hold it together and then we're gonna make about 48 of these. And when we get that done, we're gonna come back, we're gonna cook it up with you. All right, amazing chefs. Uh, so our pot stickers here are filled and we're gonna put them in the pan. So we've got a couple tablespoons of uh, peanut oil that we've got warmed up here in the pan. And Chef E is going to just kind of lay them out and uh, we got about a dozen of them probably in the batch here that we're gonna get going. And then we're gonna cook them about maybe two minutes uh, on the side just to get a little bit of texture and a little bit of brownness to them. Then we're gonna add uh, maybe about a quarter cup of water and uh, cover them up and then sort of steam them the rest of the way. So we're gonna get these things going, we're gonna brown them up and then we're gonna bring you back when we steam them and we'll see you soon. All right, amazing chefs. So, so uh, these are brown, and Chef B's going to tell you more about what we're going to do. We're just going to add a little bit of water to these things and kind of steam them up. We're going to cover them up. We're going to let that go about another two, three minutes, and we're going to have ourselves a fine dinner. All right, amazing chefs, we got our pot stickers all finished uh, steaming on the one side, put a little soy sauce on there, got them on a plate. We are ready to eat. We'll see you guys later. Well, amazing chefs, those pot stickers sure were delicious, amazing, spectacular, scrum, delicious, not bad. Better than stuck to the pot stickers. Hey, why don't you tell the viewers about our pro tip we have? Our pro tip is that you can actually vacuum seal and freeze your extra pot stickers. Just like in uh, our example that we've done here with our extra pot stickers from the meal.
Fantastic. That'll be good for later. We'll put those over there to save them for later. Now, before we end this video, if you could do me a favor and go down below, like this video, subscribe, and comment what food you'd like to see for videos in the future, that would really help us out. So, now, have a great day. And keep on cooking. We're recording. Oh. <laughs>